Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 68. For the episode ahead, I'm hoping to do a bit more skilling and get both mining and smithing to 90. I'd also like to work towards getting 90 construction as well. At the very least, getting all the planks I need, but I may work on some of the levels as well. Other than that, there will definitely be some more Slayer as I'm going for a cowfight task for the Herblore Secondaries, and I'm sure there'll be some more God Wars involved at some point as well. Sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. That is my first dragon knife drop ever. Um, I don't really know that it has much use for me, but that's pretty cool to see. Worth a decent bit as well for only 118. And that's another unique drop from the drakes. There's one that I want. I can't remember if it's this one or the tooth. I want the one that goes on the devout or makes the devout boots from the holy sandals because they'll be pretty handy. And that's not the one that I need. Basically, once I've got the tooth then I'm done here and I'll probably block them or start skipping them uh, but I guess that's kind of cool to have but I'm definitely after the tooth not the claw then well that's unfortunate another Drake's claw I actually didn't look at what the stats for the brimstone boots were like I don't think they're going to be particularly useful for me I think the only thing they're considered best in slot for is stab attack so that's going to be a very niche use case if they do have any use at all um, but yeah, unfortunate to get another pair of those. All right, so as far as I'm aware, I just need to use the Drake's Claw on uh, one of these boots of stone, and that should create the boots of brimstone. So I'll have two of those for the bank now. See what they look like. Actually goes pretty well with this uh, fashionscape, actually. And as I mentioned, I think the only thing to note about these is the stab bonus. Um, otherwise, don't think they're particularly useful for me. Alright, so I did pick up another Greater Demons task, which means I'm heading back to Zami God Wars. Current KC 774. This task will take me just over 875 kills. As you can see, got plenty of drops, but the one that I'm still looking for is the Zami Hilt, and that will mean that I'm done with Zami God Wars altogether. So let's see what we can get this task. Alright, so that is my 800th kill at Zami. No drops as of yet for this task, about a quarter of the way through, but plenty of kills left to go and uh, we'll see if we can get lucky. Well, that is the first drop of the task, another Steam Battle Staff. I think that might be number 10. And I've only got about 20 odd kills left on the task, so it's not been as productive as the previous one. Not sure if we'll get another drop, we shall see. And that is gonna be the last kill of the task, just one left, so I'll get that off the minion. 881 Krill kills overall, and still no help, so maybe in the next task we can get it. Ooh, we got ourselves a master clue from a hard clue. Uh, let's see if we can do that one. All right, we managed to complete the master clue. What can we get? Um, left eye patch, I feel like I've already got that. Wines of Zami, quite pleased with that actually. Um, so overall, 340k, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now that is exactly the task I was looking for, Cowfight Queen. Granted, it's only a boss task, so I can kill a maximum of 35. So I'll be looking for another sizable cow fight task after this one, but there is a very important reason that I was looking for a cow fight queen task. I very nearly have 99 herb lore banked. In terms of the herbs themselves, I actually have well over 99. The only thing that's standing in my way currently are the secondaries, and that's why KQ comes in. I neglected doing a lot of KQ on my way to 99 Slayer and it's meant I missed out on a sizable amount of two of the most important herb lore ingredients, potato cacti and wines of Zamorak. With just 100 or so Calfight Queen kills, I'll have enough of these to get 99 herb lore, and that's why I've been hunting a KQ task. Well, the Calfight Queen head Luck continues, that is another one. No idea how many of these I've had, but yeah, might even be close to 10 now. There we go, that is the last kill of the task. Let's go and get ourselves another Cowfight Queen task and hopefully the max of 200. That would do us very well indeed. Well, strangely enough, we've got another boss task and it's Cowfight Queen, so we'll go for another 35, which will take us to 70 total for this episode. I was hoping to get a normal Cowfight task, but that'll do just nicely. Well, that is the end of that KQ boss task. Didn't actually get any wines of Zami that 
task at all, which is quite disappointing. Got a few potato cactus, but hopefully get a chunky cow fight task soon so that I can continue on getting the supplies for 99 Herb Lore. So I have perhaps rather stupidly been skipping quite a lot of tasks to try and get a big cow fight task to do KQ. I was, uh, when I started, on around 2,900 points. I had, I think, like a 700 point boost from Konar for doing a 750th task. And I'm now down to 1,700, which isn't great. I also feel like I've been quite unlucky. I mean, I did have the two boss tasks that took me up to 70 KQ KC for the episode, but I probably should avoid skipping any more. So what I actually have done instead is I've been to the Barrett Museum and I've taken out all the fossils that I had from Fossil Island content. I'd completely forgotten that you get XP lamps for filling out the museum. So I'm going to see how much this XP gives me. And I think actually it should be enough to cover what I would have got from a KQ task. And I think once I've collected all of the bird's nests, I should have 99 herbal banks, save for some of the other uh, easier to get secondaries. That actually ended up being a lot more XP than I was expecting, 36,000. And I haven't even finished uh, all of the fossil displays by any means. So what that means is I need to continue collecting these bird's nests passively through bird houses. And then otherwise it's going to be red spider's eggs from Tower of Life, easy enough. I have newts, I can buy those, that's fine. Quite a lot of more my fungus to get, but again, that's pretty quick. I think it's about 2,000 per hour, maybe more now. So that shouldn't be too tricky. And then quite a lot of chocolate dust or chocolate bars. And that will be well over 99 herb lore banked, which is really nice, actually. Um, that'll be one for a couple of episodes time, I think. Got a whip drop. Not too sure what number that is, but always nice to see. I was actually thinking earlier how many of these I'm going to need going forward, because now that I've got the lance for raids, won't be using a tentacle whip there. Pretty sure I'll only be using a tent whip probably now for Bandos and if I end up doing TOB further down the line, so might not be such a priority to get lots more of these. And that is 90 mining, so another 90 stat to add to the collection. Next up is going to be smithing. I definitely have all of the ores that I need for that, so it'll be a mixture of gold or at the blast furnace, making some more rune bars and rune darts, I think. There we go, that is 90 smithing, so just three skills left to go to reach 90, being agility, rune crafting, and construction now. And that is 92 fletching as well. If I use up all of the U logs that I got from 90 woodcutting, fletching them and stringing them as well, and using up all of the dart tips, that should get me just about 94, which is pretty good. So I've collected basically all of the secondaries that I need. The last one left for me to gather is the Mortmire fungus. I've got just over 2000 at the moment, and I think I'm gonna leave the rest for the time being, maybe do that in between uh, this episode and the next one, because there's really no rush to get 99 Herb Law. It'd be nice for the level itself, but in terms of the cape, that doesn't have a particular use for me uh, in contrast to the crafting cape, which is obviously a very useful one. So I'm not actually in a huge rush to knock that out but it would be nice to finish collecting those uh, within the next couple of weeks, I think. Ooh, that is my first Dehyde Shield, a Guthix one. I don't actually know if this is gonna be too useful for me, but I don't really have any range shields. I don't have the Odium or Malediction Ward, I can't remember which one is good, and I don't have the Din's Bulwark from Raids yet. So that actually might be a best in slot shield for me. That's pretty cool. And two clues off 300 hards overall as well. Coming in with 95 Hunter, collecting black chins as you can see, which can only mean one thing. I do have an armadillo task. I've done one trip so far, probably two or three left to go. On rate for another piece of the armor. So let's see if we can finish off the episode with getting maybe the plate legs or the helm. That would be pretty cool. Well, that is the first kill of the trip and Armadillo Hilt, my first God Wars Hilt drop, first God Sword, and it's the one that's not particularly useful for an Iron Man, but still kind of cool to see, I guess. So that was perhaps a bit of an underwhelming reaction to the Hilt, but honestly, I was so preoccupied with getting one of the armor pieces that I completely didn't even register at first that it was a rare drop or something 
um, to even be worth getting excited about. But that is my first God Sword, so I'm going to put together the God Sword shards, which I haven't done yet. Thankfully, do have a hilt, which I can attach this to. And that will be my very first God Sword, the Ahmadil God Sword. Again, not a particularly useful one for an Iron Man. It's predominantly a PvP weapon. Uh, so let's see if we can spec something and give it a go on this guard. Wonderful. And that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. Knocked out a couple more important level milestones in this episode and now only have three stats left to go until hitting base 90, which is exciting. Lots of God Wars drops as well, which I'm hoping will continue on into the next episode. So until then, thanks again for watching and take care.